स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्लावर फ्लावर्स आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल क्रिएशन ऑन मदर अर्थ अकॉर्डिंग टू द बायोलॉजिस्ट मॉर्फोलॉजिकली द फ्लावर इज अ कॉम्प्रेस्ड शूट एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन इन एंजियो स्पर्म्स द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स ऑल दो फ्लावर्स हैव एस्टोनिशिंगली वेरीड साइजेस शेप्स ओडर एंड कलर्स they still possess the same basic structure a typical flower has a pedicel which is the stalk that holds the flower and the thalamus which is enlarged part of the stalk that bears all the parts of flower on the basis of presence or absence of pedicel flowers are classified into pedicellate and sessile respectively rose is a pedicellate flower while bottle brush is a sessile flower a typical flower has four whorls outer two whorls consist of accessory organs and inner two whorls consist of essential organs The accessory organs consist of sepals and petals also known as calyx and corolla respectively Calyx is usually green in color and during the bud stage it protects the inner organs of the young flower Some flowers like datura have fused or united sepals while others like rose has free sepals corolla is generally large elaborate bright colored and sweet smelling which helps in attracting insects moths and honey bees during pollination like sepals petals are also united as well as free for example blue bell flower has fused petals while aster flower has free petals in monocotyledon plants the calyx and the corolla are undifferentiated and they are collectively called as perianth while the individual members are known as tepals The essential organs are stamens or microsporophylls which form the androecium that is the male reproductive organ of the flower and the carpels or megasporophylls which form the gynoecium that is female reproductive organ of the flower The stamen is a cylindrical stalk like structure which consists of proximal sterile part called the filament and a distal fertile part ananther the anther consists of four microsporangia also known as pollen sacs these pollen sacs are separated by a thin layer of tissue known as connective Each pollen sac contains numerous pollen grains or microspores. When mature anther dehisces, pollen grains are released from it. The carpel is divided into a proximal ovule-bearing part known as the ovary. a distal pollen receptive part known as the stigma and a median sterile part called the style the style holds the stigma and carpel is also known as the pistil the ovary has one 
or more chambers known as locules. The ovules are attached to the walls of the ovary with the help of a structure called the placenta. The pattern of ovule arrangement in the ovary is called placentation. Different flowers bloom at different times of the year. Some plants like Winsor rosea bloom throughout the year, while blooming in some parts like neem and mango occurs once in a year. Flowers are always the best way to express our feelings no matter what the reason or occasion might be. They are the ultimate ornaments to enhance aesthetics of a place.